Hey guys, today I've got another quick invention for you. Using the new snapshot, I've managed to make a self-laying track. You may have seen this before, but this one's slightly different in that it lays just normal rail, no activator rails. So I've got spacings of six, so when it hits the activator rail, it has to place the, the corresponding activator rail and the boost rail. So what I've got here is just four main ones, and then this one just turns the activator rails into normal rail. So if we look at this, this just places a redstone block. Uh, the 1.1 is just because rounding's kind of weird with negative numbers. So that just places a block, the redstone block, and this one places the one for the other one. So it needs to place two at once. So when it's here, it needs to place this block and this block. And it's the same de deal with the, the boost rail and the activator rail. This one just looks at the block below it, which will be the track block, and replaces it with just normal track, so instead of uh, activator rail. So uh, let's test this, hopefully it works. So as you see, it places the redstone blocks first, then the track, then as it goes along, this last one will go over the activator rail, and replace it with normal rail. So there's no way to turn off the spam at the moment, I don't think. But this is pretty cool for like if you had a survival world and you're an admin or something. Because the other ones I've seen they just they leave just one kind of rail behind. But because I place two blocks at once I can do alternating rails. If I did three three different minecarts for each block, I could um I could do like normal rail, boost rail, then activate rail if I wanted for some reason. But uh that's pretty much it. So I will paste the commands for these in the description in case you didn't catch it. But that's all for now, so bye guys.